Hey guys, it's me, and um, I've just got two things from the store. My mom was feeling generous, so she let me get a Strife and a Triad. Uh, the Strife was only 18, normally 20, so, and then this was 7, so, yeah, um, I haven't shot either one yet. I have the darts right here from the Triad, which are W, so I'll load it up, and I'm putting bottom first, then top right, and then top left, and we'll see if they fire in that order. They fired pretty hard. So it looks like they did fire in that order. Those are firing really hard, hitting my wall straight. Uh, we'll try some other darts. Grab a whiteout streamline, which doesn't look like it's going in there all the way. Uh, tagger and a whistler. Oh, okay, it fired two at a time then, because I had the streamline in there. And that whistle's firing pretty well. Let's try that again. Uh, here's another whiteout streamline, and we'll put this in the top left. And then we'll get this Busby dart in the top right, and then um, an Arizona dart in the bottom. Okay, it shot the bottom first. And then the uh, Busby dart. And that kind of, it made it slow, and that got like 15 feet. But, um, yeah, now we'll grab the Strife. Really comfy. Take that cardboard off. Can't pull the trigger, of course. It's a really comfortable clip release. It doesn't fall out, but it's really comfy. Uh, let's check the jam door. It looks pretty sweet. I can see the little sensor right here. You can see that black. I guess that's the piece to tell you when the jam door's down. And yeah, there's a little clip at the top of the jam door right here. Probably pushes that. Our wheels look nice. Everything looks nice. So I'll put some batteries in here so we can fire this puppy off. I've got a bunch of attachments down here. And I'm just going to do some random ones so you guys can see what it all looks like. So I have four double A's. And these were in my Raven, and my Raven's being stupid. So I decided to take them out. So I hope that they are, for the most part, charged up or still have some life left in them. And we'll find out now. Oh, wait, we have to put a clip in. And I think darts. Oh, yeah, it's not revving up. So I'll have to fire this in a separate video. You can kind of hear it. In fact, you can't. And I still can't pull the trigger because there's no darts in there. But I will show you some random... Um, Attachments and such. Um, throw that on there. Looks like it doesn't want to go in there. It doesn't want to go in there. That's weird. Oh, there we go. Right, retaliator barrel. And then we'll just grab that. And that goes on there. Oops. And then we'll grab this. And then we'll go. Oh, that fell off. Okay, we'll grab this one. Um, and then where is it? Here we are. Oh, it looks like I have to turn the barrel. That looks pretty sweet. It's comfy, it's got the scope on there. Probably pretty impractical, but still looks pretty nice. Um, I think I and can't really get anything on with that barrel. But I think I'd rather have this up here. Let's try it out. Oh, it's backwards. That's why. That's a little more comfortable. Yeah. Okay. I like that. It's pretty nice. Bluster design is very small, sleek. Um, uh, let's try this. It's another one. Raider stock, the yellow one, and an 18 clip, and then this still. I could rock that. Um, shoot. Let's go. Praxis stock. Okay. That's pretty nice, too. That actually feels really good on the strife. 
it's not, you know, not usually comfortable right there, but, you know, flimsy, small roster. Yeah, so I, I really do want to fire this, so I'm going to have to go find some double A's now. That clip release is really great, though. I might actually add something on the back of there to make it a little more comfy. But I really like that. I'll try and pull it in a minute. So that's really nice. I like this. It's pretty sweet. Um, uh, let's throw this in there. Alpha Triple Drum. That's pretty comfy too. Alright. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Short video. Nothing too major, but I, I like that. So I'll probably just keep these package. I don't need to take them out. But they look to be J, I believe. I think. Yeah, J, but they have a dot after them. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, so we'll try to fire this one more time. Uh, streamline, then a tagger, then a buzz bead. So let's see if this fires two again. Yeah, it fired two. And I'm going to show you that again because, you know. Um, streamlines. There's darts. There are darts all over my floor, so. Oops. Check it out. See that five two and the streamline is right here on my keyboard. Put that up there and see if it does these two. Yep, did those two and the streamline is here again. Yeah, it it seems like they're it thinking that there's an air strip in there. Yeah, but I might rebarrel this uh, with some CPVC and I might go get another two, maybe one or two. But yeah, give it a close up. The elite on the handle. Try the X3 nerf. Is that on the side? Oh, oh, yeah, it is, but it's not written in. There, you can see that. It looks pretty sweet. It's really comfortable, much more than a jolt. Kind of grip around it. So, yeah, I'll definitely be spring editioning this. Um, and as I said, probably rebarreling it. I don't think I'll take out the air strictors unless I get like a Home Depot, piece of a Home Depot spring in here or something like that. But, yeah, I really like this. Uh, I like the Strife 2. Two more Elite Blasters from our collection. So now I have uh, two Fire Strikes, two Retaliators, a uh, Strife, and a Triad. One of the Retaliators is new in box, and that's probably going on eBay since I already have one. That's modded really nicely with an Orange Mod Work Spring, and ARs removed, and lots removed. And then one of my Fire Strikes is modded pretty nice too, with air strippers all the way out and a piece of a K26. And then the other uh, fire strike is probably going to get a night finder uh, plunger rod. Try to give it a little bit more draw. So yeah, I'll try that out. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.